Okay, we're going to use uh, the AC method of factoring a trinomial again. I just made this one a little bit harder. The, the uh, constant term is negative in this one. So you can see how that works. And I also made the numbers a little bit harder. Not a lot, just a little bit harder. So this is example two. Factor 5x squared plus 27x minus 18. See, that's not that much harder, right? The 18 factors, what, 1 times 18, 2 times 9, and 3 times 6. So there's three ways of factoring it. But the 5 is easy. So a times c is negative 90. Now you have, to find, you have to write out all the ways of factoring negative 90. Since it's negative, one of your factors is negative and one's positive. So what I usually do with this is I'll just make the first one negative and the second one positive. And just remember that it could be switched. That way you don't have to write out twice as many products. But you do have to remember that the signs could be the other way around. So I just start with one and I go up through the integers that divide 90. And you wouldn't normally write down either factor could be negative. I just wrote that down for your information. But the rest of this stuff I would write down exactly the way I just wrote it. I kind of like vertical. The book puts parentheses between them and writes them horizontally. I think it's a lot cleaner if you just write them vertically like this. Okay, then I want the sum, right? It's a sum of a positive and a negative number. So I want the sum to be 27. So it's gotta be this one, right? So it's pretty easy to find these because the, the sum, this is the biggest number and they get smaller as you go down. <laughs> so it's pretty easy to find. Uh, 27 right there, right? Okay. And since it's positive 27, I want, right, we want positive 27. So I'll want this to be positive and this to be negative, the way it's written, okay? So it's 30 and minus three, or negative three, if you want. So I'll just circle it, why not? So those will be the coefficients of my two middle terms. One, I'll have a negative three X and I'll have a 30 X. And which one do I write first? Well, five divides 30. So I, I wrote the 30 with the five because that's most likely to work out. Okay, and then the three with the 18, those share a factor of 18, actually negative 18, negative three with the negative 18. So I'll factor that by grouping. On the first one, remember you're factoring out the x too. It's the greatest common factor. So it's 5x, right? And then x plus 6 is left. And then if the third term is negative, remember I told you always factor out the negative if the third term is negative when you're doing factoring by grouping. So there's a negative 3 here. So I'm going to factor out negative 3. And that changes the sign of both the things inside. Since they were both negative, now the inside will be both positive. Double check it quickly by multiplying the negative three out. Negative three X minus 18, yep. The most common mistake is to get the sign of the last one wrong. Now notice you have X plus six and X plus six. If you don't, then you probably got the sign of this one wrong. <laughs> X plus six, X plus six, so you factor out the X plus six. This is a factoring by grouping and you get that. Then you check by multiplying everything out. So you've got, let's see, 5x times x is 5x squared, yep. Minus three times six, or negative three times six is negative 18, or minus 18, yep. Then the middle one, inside and out. So here you've got 30x minus three x is 27x, yep. So that checked out, so it's correct. Uh, looks like I'm going to do one more example. Uh, because what I'm doing is examples of the minuses in every possible position. So this one has two minuses. Fx, or 5x squared minus 27x minus 18. Okay? So again, I take 
Well, I already wrote out all the factors of the product of five and 18. This is the same as the previous one, except, right, this is, oops, sorry. This is the same as this one, except I just changed the sign of the middle term. So when you take A times C, you get the same thing, negative 90. And then you would write out all the ways of factoring 90. So I just didn't write out the same thing again. It's just right here. And I'm looking for a negative 27. So to get negative 27, I need negative 30 and positive 3. So that's the difference between these two. So I'll have negative 30 and positive 3 for my middle terms. And then when I factor those, the negative just takes care of itself, right? So 5x, factor that out of the first one, and the 3 out of the second one, the second pair. It's positive 3 now because the... Uh, because you always use this number here, here. And this is positive, so this is positive. And that means this is the same sign as this, because you're factoring out a positive number. So I've got x minus six, x minus six, so I factor that out, and I get this. Then I check by multiplying it out. So we've got five x times x is five x squared, 3 times negative 6 is negative 18. Then the middle and the outside. So let's see, it's a negative 30x plus 3x is negative 27x. So that checks. Yay. Oh, I've got another example. <laughs> okay, 16y squared minus 25y plus 9. So my first step is to take 16. Well, there's no common factors because this first one, 16, all the factors of this is twos, right? This factor, this is two to the fourth. And the, the factors of this is five, five, and this is three, three. So there's no common factors there. Um, so I just take 16 times 90, which is 144. Now 144 is a lot of ways of factoring it. 12 times 12, right? 1 times 144, 2 times 72, 3 times 48, 4 times 36, 6 times 28, 8 times 18, 9 times 16, and 12 times 12. And I didn't write them out that fast initially. I took a little longer. <laughs> but you see what I'm doing? I did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 doesn't go into this because it doesn't end with a 5 or 0, right? So I skipped 5, went to 7 to six. I tried seven. Seven goes into 14, but it doesn't go into the four. So that didn't work. So I skipped seven, went to eight. Eight, I know goes into it because there's four goes into it and this is even. So there's another two that goes into it. So, you know, just get out your calculator and divide that by eight if you want. 18. And then nine goes into it. That's uh, because three went into it. And 3 goes into 48. How do you know 3 goes into 48? If you add the digits, well, you might just see that it's 16 times 3. But if you add the digits, you get 12, and 3 goes into 12, so 3 goes into this number. So if 3 goes into this number, then that means there's another factor of 3 besides this one. So that means 9 goes into it. Okay, so 9 times 16, um, 11, or 10 doesn't work because it doesn't end with a 10. 11 doesn't work. Uh, you could just try it real quick if you want. It doesn't work. You could use your calculator on this too. And then the next one is 12. And since 12 is matched up with itself, I'm done. Okay. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ways of factoring it. But once I get that done, it's pretty easy to find out what I need. Um, these are, this is, I want a negative 25. Right, and notice there's Y's here. So be careful if you see a Y here that when you do your answer, you put a Y in. So you should make sure that you have Y's all the way down, not X's. I make that mistake sometimes because it'll mark you wrong if you put a Y. Um, so let's see. So both of the numbers are negative. How do I know that? Well, nine is positive. So the product has to be positive because this one's always positive. So this has nine, I need positive nine here. So they're both, why are they both negative though? If they were both positive, then this would have to be positive too because everything would be positive, 
right? So they have to both be negative. And so you're actually adding these quantities to get 25. Let's see, and they get smaller as you go down. So let's see, that's 26, that's 25 right there. Right, so it's nine and 16 is what you want. And I'll put the 16, probably not too surprisingly, I'll put the 16 term next to the 16 <laughs> and the nine next to the nine, and that should probably work. So remember these numbers down here are the coefficients of your, vari of your single variable. So in this case, the coefficients of y. But they're both negative, because the middle term's negative, and so I've made them both negative. And then I'm gonna factor by grouping. So I wanna explain this all the way through like I would do, because by now you should know this. If you don't, go back and work on it. And then check by multiplying it out. Okay, so 16y times y is 16y squared, right? Uh, the constants, negative nine times negative one is 10. I'm sorry, nine. <laughs> negative nine times negative one is nine. I added them. <laughs> um, the middle term, negative nine y minus 16 y. They're both negative, so you add the quantities. So it's nine plus 16 is 25, but it's negative. It's negative 25, check. Now you could even put that in your calculator if, you, if it bothers you, right? Put minus 9, minus 16, if you have trouble with, with those negatives. Negative 25. So that checked out. So that's it. That's, uh, that's the AC method. That's as hard as they'll get. I don't even know if they'll get quite that. The only thing that makes one harder is if the numbers are bigger as long as you know how to deal with the signs, right? Okay, so that's the end of the section.